Well, hey there, it's Ashley here from Lovely Commotion Preschool Resources. Welcome. Today is going to be a short one, but I did want to talk to you about center time and how long that we should be scheduling it. So center time is like the major stable of a preschool program. And if you're running a play play, play base, excuse me, classroom like I am, that free center is like, that's the key ingredient. But like, if you've ever wondered like me, how long should I be even scheduling time in centers? How long is too long? And you know, is it long enough? What am I doing? And if you are a half day program versus a whole day, it's obviously all going to look a little bit different. So most teachers find themselves breaking up center time in two or three different play times, depending on how long the day is. But the question really remains, is there a recommendation? Is there a set of guidelines? And when I started putting play-based centers into action in my cl classroom, that is what I really wanted to know. I wanted to know like, what is the standard here? Because I wanna know if I am in that range. So here's what I found. So the Early Childhood Environmental Education Rating System a rating scale that helps preschools and daycares improve their educational environment and their offerings has a set of recommendation in their scheduling checklist. So super helpful, right? Like I want to see this. I want to know how long I should be doing it. So let me pop it up here for you because I've simplified the chart for you. So you can just kind of scan it and go, okay, yeah, that's me. So here it is. How long? In the purple box is the length of your day, the length of your time that your preschoolers spend with you. And then in the pink boxes, we have our time and play. That's how long you should be having play time in your classroom. Again, this might be, it might be broken up into multiple, depending on obviously we've got some lunch and some outdoor play. And sometimes we have extra specials or we have music and we have chapel and things like that. So obviously this is added up throughout the day. But when I look at this chart for my part time, I am in the 4.5 hours. So my time in play is 90 minutes. And we actually do 60 minutes of uninterrupted play in the morning. And then we do another 30 to 40 minutes after lunch. So I am definitely meeting that. And I have to say, it just feels very reassuring that my schedule meets these recommendations because sometimes in the past, I've felt like 60 minutes of uninterrupted play feels really long. And I wasn't even sure like, is that on the right track? Am I doing too much? Where's the balance here, right? Because many times people think, and you know, we have parents come to us who also think this when they, they come to, to tour the center is that, you know, all you do all day is play. Well, that's not necessarily true. We have some whole group times that we work on different literacy skills and, and book skills. And then we, we pull some small groups during our, our center time. And then of course we have all of the times in the day where we leave the classroom for different things or eating lunch or bathroom breaks and just all those things and all those transitions. So it, that's not necessarily the case, but it is great to know that the time that I'm putting in there is what is recommended. So it would be great, great resource for you just to pop, look in and go, okay, I know on my schedule now, and you know, I use this every year. I have to remind myself how long a play do we need when are my times already scheduled for me to be in music or chapel or outside? And then how can I fit lunch in there at an appropriate time and snack in there at an appropriate time? And then I've got to make sure I can fill in all those spots with enough time for them to play. So let me show it to you one more time. And then I would absolutely love it if you would drop me a comment on this video and let me know. Just let me know. Are you right on track? is maybe you're needing a little more time, a little less time. Did you find this helpful? I would love to hear all of this, all of it, all of it. Also, I have this guide. I have this exact thing right here in a center guide that I have. 
and you can grab it for free. And so if you need it, you know, print it out and you want to keep this near you, you can grab that. I have put a link to that in the description here so that you can um, snag it. The center guide is free. I have had it for a while, but I newly updated. And so there's some new things in there and this is one of them. And so it's just a great, great table, little chart to have on hand when you are making schedules in the fall for sure. But now's a great time to look at it and see, am I where I should be with the amount of time that I'm with the children? So short, short today, but I wanted to share that with you because it's something that I find really helpful and really reassuring that I make sure that I am giving those kiddos as much play as they need. So grab that center guide, drop me a comment, let me know if this was helpful, if you feel like you need to expand your minutes, um, if you kind of, do you agree? Do you agree with this recommendation that they have? I felt like it was a pretty fair recommendation, but let me know. So drop me some comments and go ahead and grab that free center guide if you haven't already. So I will see you next week and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. See ya.